little bit of something to me. He spoke to me. He said, I want my people, I want you to minister to them about the help of the Holy Spirit. Have you believed that the Word of God is a, the greatest help book in the world? Amen. Oh, God. There's nothing like 7,700 promises that are going to give you some help in the name of Jesus. Amen. 365 times, fear not. 795,000 plus words. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. How do you believe it? Say amen. amen. His Word is a lamp unto my feet, a light unto my path. Jeremiah said, I found your Word and I ate it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Jeremiah said, your Word is like a hammer and it will break the rock into pieces. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The Bible is clear, ladies and gentlemen. It is a book of help. Have you believe it? Say yes. amen. amen. It is a book of help. Somebody shout help. help. Look at your neighbor and tell him you need some help. I want to give you some scriptures this morning if you'd like to stay with me. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5 and 6. If you don't have a Bible, just look right behind me. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5 and verse 6. If you love the Lord, say amen. amen. Let your conversation be without covetousness. And be content with such things as you have. For He has said, I will never leave you nor never forsake you. Amen. That you may boldly say, the Lord is my, my helper. helper. Yes. I will not be afraid. <laughs> what can a man do to yeah. me? Yeah. Let me give it to you again. Let your conversation be without covetousness. And be content with such things as you have. For He has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Right. So that you can boldly say, The Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can a man do to me? Psalms 121, verse 1 and 2. Psalms 121, verse 1 and 2. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Let me say it to you again. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Isaiah 41, 10. Isaiah 41.10 Fear thou not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, I am your God. I will strengthen you, yea. I will help you, yea. I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. Let me say it to you again. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed. Don't fall apart. Yeah. That's what yeah. dismayed means. Don't fall apart. Don't fall apart. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Be right. not dismayed. I am with you. I will strengthen you. Yea. Yeah. I will help you. Amen. I will help you. Amen. Say it with me. I will help you. I've heard he's an ever-present help in the time of trouble. Can I get a witness in this place? Let me say it again. I heard him say, I am an ever-present help in the time of trouble. What are you going through today? You've got a helper. What are you facing today? You've got a helper. He is the King of glory. He is the Lion of the tribe of Judah. He is the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning, the end, the first, the last. Righteousness. Look at verse number 13. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold your right hand, saying unto you, Fear not, I will help you. Hallelujah. I will help you. What are you facing? I will help you. What are you going through? What has the doctor told you? I will help you. What's going on with your finances? I will help you. What's a 
attacking your body today. I will help you. Yeah. What's going on in your marriage right now? I will yeah. help you. Yeah. Do you have a kid on drugs? I will help you. Do you have a habit that's trying to control you? This morning, I will help you. 2,000 years ago, on a hill not very far away, stood an old rugged cross, an emblem of suffering yeah. and shame. Yeah. But if I got it right, the great I am. The yeah. lamb straight yeah. from the yeah. foundation of the world. Stretched out this hand and stretched out this hand yeah. and said, this is how much I'm going to help you. Yeah. And they yeah. made it to that cross with wide open hands. Come on, yeah. all you yeah. that labor and the heavenly I will give you rest. Take my love upon you and learn to be and you will find rest. devil. Some of yeah. you need help because yeah. you are a devil to yourself. <laughs> Hallelujah. I better say that behind your head. Some of you need help with yourself. Some of you need help with the king folk. Some of you need help with somebody right down the street. Some of you need help with somebody right in your own house. Some of you need help with something that's in your mind. Some of you need help in different places in life. But I came to preach a message to you this morning. That he is an ever-present help. Hallelujah. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me, glory to God. If I feel a twinge in my body, instantly I cry for help. If I see something going wrong, if I sense a thief loose in my life, instantly I cry for help. Instantly I say help. Shout it with me. Help. I want you to get to the point that if you feel unusual, you cry for help. If you see something turning dark, you cry for help. You don't let it go too long. The devil knows when you let a problem go longer. He wants you to let that problem go too long. Stop it. Ask God for help in the name of Jesus. The enemy wants to throw a feeling on you. He wants to throw a worry on you. Yeah, yeah. He wants to throw a fear on you. Yeah. He wants to throw a symptom on you. Yeah. He wants to throw failure on you. Don't let it stay. Let the devil see you lifting up your hands and say, I've got help in the name of Jesus. I've got help in the name of the Lord. Somebody say that. The devil's watching you stay sad. He's watching you stay depressed. He's watching you worry. Tell him, I've got a helper. Help, Lord. Help me now. Help me now. I don't want this another second. I don't want this another minute. I don't want the devil happy over how long I've had this. I want it stopped now. I ask the Lord for help in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Help. 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 Somebody help say it. Help. 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 You've got to start asking the Lord. Get your pride out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. Let me talk to the men. Men, set aside that way that men do things. And you think you don't need any help. You walk in this church and think that because the way we love, we're a little bit weird. Yeah, let me tell you who's weird. People that don't know how to love. That's what weird. Hallelujah. A man that can't love, whose wife is not loved right, his son's not loved right, his daughter's not loved right. They need the love of God. They need the love of Jesus. They need to have that covering of love. Ask God to give you help. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me say amen. Let me your Bibles to the book of John, chapter 14. John, chapter 14. Have you with me? Say amen. amen. John chapter 14, verse number 16. Listen to the word of the Lord. I will pray the Father. He will give you another comforter. Yeah. Yes. Somebody say comforter. comforter. Let me give you, it's the, it's the Greek word parakletos. It means one called alongside to help. In other words, I'm going to give you another helper. Yes. I'm going Amen. to give you another helper. Glory to God. Amen. I'm going to give you another helper. Hallelujah. That he may abide, live, dwell, stay with you forever. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. Because it sees him not, neither knows him, but you know him. Yeah, you do. Ooh, you know. Yes. You're right. 
you need to underline no. those words, but you know him. That's God opening up the door for you to know the helper. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I have people come to me all the time, but I don't know him. I say, wait a minute, stop saying that. God says, but you'll know him. Jesus said, but you know him. Yeah. That's Jesus yeah. opening up the door, giving you an opportunity to know that you've got a helper and to know that he's an ever-present help in any situation. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. But you know him, for he dwelleth with you, and he shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. In other words, I'm not going to leave you by yourself. Yeah. I'm not going to leave you an orphan. I'm not going to leave you all alone. I'm going to send you a helper. Every one of you in this building, you have a helper. It's the Hallelujah. Holy Spirit. It's the same Spirit that raised Christ from the dead. You've got a helper. The devil wants to see you fall apart even though you have this helper. Yeah. He wants to see you cry about how people are acting even though you have the helper. Because yeah. he knows if you get afraid, you're not using the help of the helper. Yeah. Yeah. He knows if you fall apart, you're not using the help of your helper. Yeah. He knows if you get mad and sad, you're not using the help of of the helper. Yeah. The enemy yeah. throws things at Christians to see if they will get help from the helper. Yeah. And if you don't get help from the helper, the devil knows that he can take you. Yeah. 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 Anybody want to say amen? Yeah. Anybody want to shout praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. God. I can't do it yeah. by myself. If I could, I would not need a helper. I cannot do it by myself. The church cannot do it. Right. Hallelujah. It takes the power of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. He yeah. is the helper. Yeah. Yeah. Are you with me? Say yeah. Yeah. I've got to yield to the helper. I've got to start saying, I'm going to help you as I'm preaching. Holy Spirit, you're my helper. Holy Spirit, you're my helper. Yeah. Holy Spirit, you're my helper. Yeah. Holy Spirit, you're my helper. Yeah. I can't help me, but you can help me. Yeah. I can do all things through your help because you strengthen me. Yes. I've got to get myself yes. set underneath the help of the Holy Spirit. Come on, somebody yes. say yes. The government can't help you. It's run out of money. The world can't help you. It's run out of stuff. But there's an ever-present help in the time of trouble. Give him your problems. Give him your symptoms. Give him your care. First Peter, cast all your care upon him for he cares for you. You've got Are you with me? Come here. Come here, young fella. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can see while I was gone, your mama didn't knock the black off. Hallelujah. I mean, I love this man. Say amen. If the devil's attacking him, and the devil sees that he does not ask the yeah. Holy Spirit yeah. for help, yeah. the on. devil knows he's already won the battle. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. If the Come enemy on. attacks him, yeah. If a symptom hits his body, and the moment the symptom comes, Glory. he doesn't say, wait a minute, I've got a helper. Yeah. Yeah. If he starts treating his kids wait bad, starts treating his What's wife up? bad, starts treating people bad, and he doesn't ask for the help of the Holy Ghost, that doesn't come in love, that yeah. comes from an enemy. Yeah. 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 The yeah. enemy steals and kills and destroys. Come on, come on. Glory. Glory. You need to tell everything you're facing. I've got a helper. Say it with me. I've got a helper. I've got a helper. Hallelujah. You've got to tell everything you're facing. I've got a helper. 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 I've got a
What drug are you on? What alcohol do you drink? You've got to help us and he'll help you get rid of it in the name of Jesus. I command dementia to leave you. I command Parkinson to leave you. I command sickness and disease to leave you. I command the oppression to leave you. I command the pressure to leave you. I command suicidal thoughts to leave you. I command situations to leave you. Oh, come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, I got a helper. Help we got to pull him in. We got to get him close. I've got a helper. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. You want to mess with me? I got a helper. <laughs> you want to mess with me? I got a helper. I got a helper. Come on. I got a helper. Yeah. Come on. And I got something you can't see. Hallelujah. Yeah. I got something you can't see. Hallelujah. He came in to a dead, empty tomb with Jesus laying there. If the Holy Ghost can raise Jesus from the dead, He can help me. Oh, yes. Amen. off a card on the meat. <laughs> oh. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, holy roller now. John 15, 26. Slow down, Randy. Slow down, Randy. I can't help it. I can't help it. It's all over me and it's keeping me alive. Yeah. That's right. I gotta help and say it to somebody. I gotta help her. We're talking so much about your symptoms. That's right. Amen. God, a helper. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've got a helper. Hallelujah. John chapter 15. John 15 verse 26. But when the helper is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, the Spirit of truth which proceeds from the Father, he shall testify of me. And you shall bear witness because you have been with me from the beginning. This helper tells us what Jesus can do. Yeah. This helper tells us nothing is impossible with God. Yeah. This helper talks to you. This helper says, if God be for you, Andy, who can be against you? This helper says to me, all things are possible to them to believe. This, this helper talks to me. This helper strengthens me. This helper empowers me. This helper is in me. This helper, the Bible says, my body is the temple of this helper. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me so that my limbs yeah. will turn. Yeah. My crooked yeah. bones will straighten yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. Help me so that my mind can be made right. Yeah. Yeah. Help me so that my body will function normally. Yeah. Help me this morning. Help me this morning in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Help me to run and not be weary. Help me to walk and not faint. Help me to get it right. Help me to get it done. Help me to turn it around. Somebody shout help me. Help me. You believe you got a help in this time. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The problem is we're talking the problem and not the helper. Yeah. Yeah. We're talking about the symptom and not the helper. Yeah. We're lifting up the symptom and not the helper. If God be for me, who cares? Yeah. Hallelujah. Greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. So I've got God in me and I've got anger in me at the same time, let's say. So this anger starts doing this. This anger starts saying this and doing this. Why? Because it did it before I got the Lord in me. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Come on. That's right. How many know I just told you the truth? Yes. How many know that when you got saved, you were born again of the incorruptible seed? Yeah. But when you got up, you had the same mind as you did when you knelt down. Come on. Same stuff. Same stuff. You just got rid of your sins. You got rid of the past. Come on. Yeah. Now you, what do you got to do? You got to let the Spirit of God that's now in you, the Spirit of adoption, the Spirit yeah. of God that's in you, yeah. begin to help you get rid of that mess. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. That's Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. A man came to see me a few years ago. He was sexually abusing his children. 
he talked to me a little while. I said, I guarantee you, you were sexually abused. He said, yes. I said, who was it? He told me. I said, I guarantee you they were sexually abused. How do you know? I said, it passes down from generation to generation to generation. The Lord knows that the devil loves to mess up a family. Yeah. Yes. Anybody want to say amen? Yeah. I mean, it just passes down and passes down and passes down. If we didn't have any of that, we wouldn't need no foster care. Everything would be perfect. Yeah. Everything would be beautiful. When we got kids waiting on somebody to adopt, waiting on somewhere to go, somebody to adopt them, waiting on somebody, somebody somewhere, somebody somewhere. It's just help, 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 help. help. Somebody shout, I need some help. I need some help. Let's go to John chapter 16. 16. Oh, stay with me just a little while longer. John's Gospel chapter 16, verse number 7. John 16, verse 7. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, it's important for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Helper will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send Him to you. Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. You've got to start believing that the Lord sent you after His resurrection. He walked in, He prayed the Father, and He got from the Father a Helper called the Holy Spirit, and He sent Him into the world. Amen. Amen. The Holy Spirit is not in heaven. He's right here on the planet, Janet, and He's waiting to help you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you're falling apart about it, the devil knows he's got you. If you're crying over it, the devil knows he's got you. But once you say, I'm not going to cry about it anymore, I'm not going to fall down anymore, I'm not going to give up anymore, and you start asking for help, the devil knows he's defeated at that moment. Hallelujah. At that moment. Yeah. You see, I know as a pastor, how many people fall apart, give up, give in. They're trying under their own power. You can't do it under your own power. You can hang around me all day and all night. I can't change you, but the helper can. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. you got to start asking for his help. Help. Me. Yes. Say it out loud. Yes. Help me. Say it again. Help, help me. me. Glory to God. Help me. Yeah. Help me. I need your help. help. I need help your help. I need your help in my life. I need your help in my family. I need your help in my home. Yeah. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Zechariah 4 6 says, Not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Not by my might, not by my own power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. That's where the help is. That's, That's where, where the is. strength is. Yes. Have you not heard? Do you not know that the Lord, the everlasting God, uh, fainteth not? Yeah. Yeah. Neither does He grow weary, yeah. but He gives power to the faint. Yeah. And to them that has no might, He increases strength. Yeah. Yeah. Nay, the young men shall lack and utterly fail. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Hallelujah. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. Has somebody told you? The Lord doesn't give up. The Lord doesn't fall apart. The Lord doesn't go weary. And He sent you His Holy Spirit. God, the Holy Spirit, to help you. To help you. To help you. You've got to help her today. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Judges chapter 14. Judges chapter 14. Just let me give you a little bit of stuff here. Judges chapter 14 is the story of Gideon, verse 5 and 6. And the Bible says that Gideon is going down, I mean, pardon me, Samson is going down to Timnath. And on his way down, a young lion comes up and roars against him. A young lion comes up and roars against him. Hallelujah. But the Bible says the Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him and he went. He tore the lion too. Is there a lion roaring against you? Is there a lion roaring and, and, and fighting against you? Is there a lion after you? The Bible says the adversary the devil walketh about as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Is there an enemy roaring against you? I've got news for you. When the enemy roars against you, the Spirit of the Lord yeah. always comes yeah. upon you yeah. when the enemy yeah. roars yeah. against you. Amen. 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 Right. Thank you. Hallelujah. 
Yeah. Y'all love you now. Say amen. 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 Every time the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord lifts up a stand. Amen. 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 Yes, he does. Every time the lion roars, yeah. the Lord sends mightily yeah. the power of the host. Yeah. 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 Why? Hallelujah. He's a never present help in the time of trouble. Yes. 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 You don't have to stay in that. Yes. You don't have to go down for the count. Yes. You don't have to be destroyed. I've come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Yes. But you've got to believe you've got to have it. Yes. Yes. Are you with me? Say amen. amen. Also in the book of Judges, it talks about that the Philistines came and tied up Samson. They tied him up and they begin to roar against him. You read your Bible. And they shouted against him. Yeah. And the Bible says the Spirit of the Lord came upon him when his enemies shouted against him. And those robes that tied him began to melt like flax. Yeah. And he picked up the jawbone of an ass and killed them all, 1,000 of them, because he had help from the Holy Spirit. Yeah. 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 You let me say it. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Look at me just for a moment. Stay with me just for a moment. An angel Gabriel comes to little Mary. Mary's about 13 years old. Mary, Jesus' mother. She is now betrothed to a man. And in the Jewish custom, you're betrothed for three years. Yeah. Three years. Well, that stopped a lot of crazy marriages today. <laughs> three years. Somebody say three years. three years. When you finally do get married, the husband and the new wife now move into the, the, the wife's mom and dad's house. And they don't work for one year. They are taught by the girl's daddy how to treat the daughter. Wow. I like that. Wow. Amen. 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 Y'all let me say amen. 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 For one year they move into the... Mm, that stopped a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all love me now. Y'all love me now. Yeah. The hope the angel Gabriel walks into Mary and says, Hell, Mary, you are highly favored. Yeah. And you're going to yeah. have a baby. Yeah. She yeah. says, How can this be? Yeah. I'm dating. Yeah. Yeah. But I've never been with a man. That's right. I'm dating, but I've never been intimate. I'm a virgin. He says, don't worry about it. we got to help her. Yeah. Yeah. The Holy Ghost is going to come yeah. up. Yeah. 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 Somebody say that with me. The Holy oh, Ghost yeah. is going to come up. Yeah. So what the Holy Ghost does is He takes the Word and the Bible says the Word was made flesh. So the Holy Ghost gets a hold of the Word of God and begins to transform the Word of God into a seed and plants the seed inside the womb of little old Billy Mary that has never been with the man. The Helper begins to take the situation over. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Holy Spirit takes the Word of God and places the Word of God right inside the body at the right spot so that this baby called Emmanuel will begin to grow. I, how can this be? I don't know a man. Baby, you don't need a man when the Holy Ghost begins. All of a sudden we have this conception with the power and the help of the Holy Spirit. Can I get a witness in this? Yeah. It's like Marcus and Brianna. When Marcus and Brianna came to the church, they're now back up north. They were in this church for years. They could not have a child. The doctor said, you will never have a child. You will never have a baby. I went to her and said, you are going to have a baby. She told me to be quiet. She told me, don't you ever say that to me again.